In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some great VFX projects made using Blender. If you are new to it, let me tell you that it is a great 3D program, especially for VFX projects. So, without further ado, we're gonna start with an Indian VFX company called Makuta Visual Effects that migrated almost all of their pipeline to Blender three years ago. In the production of the epic action drama Triple R, the studio used Blender as their primary 3D tool, from modeling to the final rendering, and the Cycles render engine was the main reason for that. On their YouTube channel, they posted several breakdown videos showing all the visual effects in multiple scenes of the movie. Shortly before they switched to Blender, the 3D work in the police station fight sequence was mostly done in Max. The tasks include a LiDAR scanning process, pre-visualization and post-visualization, etc. But it was rendered in cycles with the help of the cycles for Max plugin. Whereas in the song sequence, the entire street's environments, including the exteriors of the place in the Scott's Place scenes, were created inside Blender. Jumping now to the intermission fight sequence, where all the plays and the assets were produced by third party and imported into Blender for shading and lighting. In addition to the crowd assets and the main gate, along with foliage was created inside Blender and they were included in all the shots until the animal attack sequence. For the foliage distribution, the studio heavily relied on geometry nodes for scattering and randomizing the distribution according to specific roles and topography. Also, several simulations were made using Blender's volumetric system such as the gunfire and explosions, even if their rendering was very time-consuming. In this one-minute-long VFX showreel, Colin Black showcases some visual effects he made using Blender in some of his remarkable filmmaking projects. He is a writer, director, cinematographer, and VFX artist, whose projects include short films titled Abduction Production, Lightheaded, and a horror short titled Baby New Year, in addition to others. His work is professional and inspiring at the same time, and in the showreel, he briefly went through each one of them step by step, and he showed his workflow for every VFX project, including the 3D modeling, texturing, rendering, compositing to color correction and final shots. Alongside Blender, he used After Effects like Magic Fusion and Theragen, which is a freeware for generating landscapes. This video project is part of a series called the Avatar VFX series, created by Arcomate. In this episode, called Firebending VFX in the Mountains, the artists captured the exact movements of the show. Not only the martial arts are great, but the VFX is also good. For the creation of fire effects, he used Blender simulation tool, mental flow, along with the particle systems used as emitters. All the keying, rotoscoping, and compositing were done using Fusion in DaVinci Resolve. For example, he used Fusion's procedural noise for creating that heat haze effect generated by the fire. He followed his work with a VFX breakdown, showing the before and afters. The rendering of the environment was done in cycles, and the AI-driven rotoscoping, etc. He imported the live-action footage in Blender as a 2D plane, and roughly animated the 3D character matching his movements for casting accurate shadows. After watching the fire, earth, and water bending VFX episodes he made, I can't wait to see the airbending one, which is gonna be fantastic as well. We've already talked about this project before, but it totally deserves its place here among Blender VFX projects because aside from including Blender in its production pipeline, this project delivers very impressive visuals showcasing the pure talent of the artist behind it, and that is Peter France. This project shows that with a bit of dedication, one person can create these tiny visuals without any expensive budget. Everything about this short film is on point. Just like the visuals, the dynamic camera shots, the storytelling, the sound design, etc. are all great. We have another VFX showreel, this time posted by Julian Postnicker. This is his latest VFX and 3D showreel. His work is amazing. As for the visual effects, he added to the live action footage are very technical and professional. I personally like the shadow glass effect and it was really well done. He usually shares in his channel his work in progress, which is worth checking out. The next one is a quick VFX breakdown of a jet flying over on a top of a live action footage of a city taken using a drone. This breakdown was posted by Brad from Light Architect, the artist behind the City Builder 3D, Spiderfly, and Chaos Annals for Blender. The breakdown was then followed by a full tutorial showing step by step how to replicate the same effect, starting by importing the live action footage into Blender, to doing camera tracking, and then importing and animating the 3D jet model. 
then later on adding some particle systems to simulate the wind contrails and the smoke coming out of the afterburner and finally doing some final compositing of the scene to layer everything together along with additional effects. We can all agree the only one thing missing from this scene is a bit of camera shake when the jet enters the frame. But aside from that, the scene looks amazing. It's always nice to add some simple effects to your scene and make them even more appealing and look even more alive. The artist Roman Bitanzos got inspired by the city of Vancouver and made this short film that depicts the city invaded by aquatic creatures flying all around it, titling the project City Waves. Most of the work was done inside Blender, whereas compositing was done in NukeX in addition to editing alongside color correction that was done in DaVinci Resolve. To nicely blend the animals with live action shots, the artist played with lighting to accurately replicate the same daytime in Blender and roughly added some shadow captures that were needed. Now with something different, we're gonna talk about Smudge, who's a very adorable cat whose owner is a VFX artist who has a YouTube channel where he posts funny clips featuring the cat as the main character. To produce these shorts, he mainly used After Effects and Blender. In this episode, he included a new aspect with the 3D program. As in the ghost episode, he used cloth simulation. In the Halloween episode, he used what seems to be viscous liquid simulation. In the BB-8 chase and the Indiana Jones episode, he heavily used rigid bodies and destruction simulations with the help of the RBD Live add-on. And of course, with a lot of shadow catching and simulating real-time lighting to seamlessly blend the VFX elements with the live action footage. We have yet another VFX reel, this one is shared by Captain Sting to show the power of Blender when it comes to VFX projects including the implementation of CG characters in live footage, energy elements effects interacting with weapons, real life background cleaning, holographic elements, cyborg components, zombies, epic robot fights and more. Everything heavily relied on a good camera tracking and match moving to achieve such incredible results. As Blender was used alongside Maya, Houdini, After Effects, and Nuke. In this unique travel video of Mallorca in Spain, Sergio Mora takes us through this island in a fantasy adventure full of visual effects he made in Blender and edited in DaVinci Resolve. He's just a beginner in Blender, as he learned the basics only in two weeks. It took him three months to create the visual effects and finish editing, and he's submitting his work to the annual short video contest with the theme Creative. The artist also shared a video breakdown of the project showing the scene setup in Blender all the way to the compositing and final results. And all I can say is that his work is amazing for someone who just started using Blender. I hope you found these projects interesting and maybe inspiring. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos similar to this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.